All right, hi everybody, this is Al. I'm here for homopop.com. I'm about to kidnap the director of Fruit Fly, H.P. Mendoza, and I'm going to interview the hell out of him. H.P. Mendoza. Hey, hi, in the car, in the car, in the car. We're gonna have a nice chat. Okay. Should I strap or? You gotta be safe, you know? All right, is that a camera? That's a camera. That's We're gonna do a little interview, all right? Uh, sure. So yeah. I want you to relax. Just relax. Yes, relax. I am, I'm, I'm so relaxed. We're here in the car, and I got H.P. Mendoza, director of movie musical Fruit Fly, here. You're pretty excited to be here, yeah? Yeah, yeah, my heart's pounding. <laughs> all right, so tonight, H.P. got the uh, Rising Star Award at uh, the 15th annual Philadelphia Q-Fest. Should, so should I stop swearing? No, no. Please, feel Fuck free. yeah, all right. Fuck yeah, I don't okay. care. Because I swear so, when I'm nervous, so. <laughs> so uh, I, I saw Colma, the musical, and, and, and then Fruit Fly, and um, one of the things I noticed is that you're not afraid to embrace, uh, you know, uh, poop jokes, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> or, uh, or, or, or strong language, you know? A mutual jerk-off can also be nice. Oh, sure, but the loop can be colder than ice. I'll coat my hands twice. What sort of uh, made it for you feel like you could just go ahead and do that? Because I don't have a studio breathing down my neck. So basically I have like all this freedom to write whatever I want. So I can just do it and basically distribu distributors can take a look at it and see if they want it or not. But I, at least I got to do it. So you didn't even think twice about huge cocks and... Nope, 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 and, and fisting and um, and mutual jerk-offs. Nope, not at all. And that's honesty, that's it's good. Honesty, you know, yeah. we need that. Those are things that happen. Versatile bottoms meet each other and have feelings for each other and right. then are, you know, Bumping purses, exactly, you know? yeah, and bumping purses, <laughs> <laughs> and that's a reality, and you don't see it explored um, outside not in musicals. of well, not in musicals, right? The sound of music <laughs> had it, but they had to cut it out. Do they really? No. <laughs> <laughs> so gullible, I was like, who, who, which one? <laughs> you are sixteen. I'm gonna fist. <laughs> So tell me a little bit about the songwriting process. With Colma, I basically wrote that as a, as a gift. It, it sounded modern, but I wanted to make sure it had that 70s piano rock sound, and I wanted to make sure it had that kind of 80s synth sound at the same time. So when people actually would say, oh, I didn't like Colma, it sounded like, it sounded like synth heavy, too synth heavy. I said, okay, well, I'm not gonna apologize for that. So with Fruit Fly, I went all out. And so I actually went and found people to loan me their Commodore 64s, their Sega Master Systems, and we actually like we chipped them to use those synthesizers to make wow. music for the movie. So yeah, you thought Coma sounded synthesized. <laughs> Fruit Fly sounds like it's coming out of a video game. <laughs> I love it. So let's talk about your lead actress, right? L.A. Uh, Renegade. Renegade. If I'm gonna do a musical about her, it has to be her. Let's Don't see. you wanna do that again? And she's like, yeah, I'll think about it. And so she read the script and she's like, wait, this really is me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, what do you th yes. So she signed on and that was it. Wonderful, she has this great uh, deadpan expression. <laughs> People say the most horrible things at her and then she just sort of assumes this sort of, I mean, is that something you coached her through? In Colma, she was kind of the quirky side character. So it, it gave her a lot of room to, you know, uh, you know, just kind of react explosively to things. Like, huh, what are you talking about? Mm, no, I don't like that, you know? And, 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 it get, and it was great, she was a lot of fun to work with. But now I said, okay, you're playing someone subdued because you're playing, you're playing yourself. Mm -hmm. And I want to surround you with a bunch of characters who are saying the crassest, most awful things to you. And the great thing about that was, I said, don't forget, I'm going to linger on your face. We're leaving the camera right here. What are you going to do? Those are actually just her genuine reactions to things. She just doesn't know what to do with things sometimes. <laughs> People will say things and, she, and she'll be smiling. And somebody will say something, and you'll kind of see like the corners drop, you know. <laughs> so the the entire speechless number, mm -hmm. when the Jacob singing speechless with the, with the laptop, yeah. I said tap into every person who's ever walked up to you and said the wrong thing. <laughs> it's a non musical, really dark comedy about California's Proposition Eight. Okay. Um, and I really want to do. You know, as soon as Proposition 8 passed in California, all of a sudden I could tell there were, the people were just like, oh, well, this is such a sad story. I want to tell the stories about gay equality. This is horrible. You know, that we, we should cast Sigourney Weaver in this and it'll be the saddest story ever told. We know how sad it is. And the thing is, these stories, these movies need to be made, of course, because these movies kind of pander to, you know, the people who voted yes. Right. Um, and I kind of want to make a movie for us. I want to make a movie for, for the gay people who actually felt slighted by it, who, you know, the people in California mostly. Um, so I said, yeah, you know what? I actually want to make this a comedy. This will be a comedy, and it's going to be pretty dark. So there are going to be some, uh, some more dick jokes I can look forward to. Uh... Oh, yeah, there'll, 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 there will be dick. Oh, all right. That's well, the, yeah. <laughs> Daniel Day-Lewis in There Will Be Dick. Right, no, there'll, there'll be dick. <laughs>
Best of luck to you, HP. Thank you thank for you. doing the interview. Sure, thank you. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>